Well, let's just hit drive. What the hell happens here? Okay. So looking at it, we've got this. So this... Okay. Well, this is easy. Because, what the... Because all I have to do is just kind of force it in. I don't even have to do much. I just have to keep it there long enough that it never fire turns on this laser barrier. Now let's let's look at this. So we have to get something to touch this. It bounces there. Oh. Actually forever. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that works. Okay, so that that works. So where's the blue portal go? Over here. Okay. So this kind of works. I was just first try to prevent them going in two directions. Uh, no variants. If if it just remains over here, um, like if if it isn't allowed to alternate between, that means I only have to account for one one round. That was was that cheating? I don't know if that was cheating. It probably sort of kind of was, but I don't care. Okay, so blue portal here, and then we're supposed to kind of loop up or bounce. What the? I don't, I don't like most of this. Like this, this offends me, uh, in a, um, in a deeply personal way, I think. How do we destroy it? So, I mean, we've already, we've already destroyed the sanctity of one part of this puzzle. That's, that's an absolute. It's really the question of how do we destroy the rest of it so that it doesn't get uppity and decide to screw me elsewhere. So I'm going to make the, the crazy slalom shaft monstrosity here. My logic is with the speed boost, we should be able to get through this no, no problem. And we've got a ton of anchor points. So like keeping this thing together... Should be a should be really easy. All I need all I need to do is just just kind of keep the whole thing together. And nice part is feet, beautiful feet. I guess I should probably make this nice and uh, stable just because. Okay, there. That way it won't swing. Okay. 
I don't think we need too much more than this. Test. Alright, so that looks really encouraging. Uh, they might, like, bounce a little bit. The real thing is, I gotta get a companion cube. Oh. Do I? So, apparently... Let's test. Oh no, this companion cube still goes. It just turns on the laser up there. Well, okay. I mean, on a scale of one to things that I can easily deal with, this is about a uh, trivial. All we have to do is get this companion cube to go kind of down and over through here. Should be easy enough. I've more or less gotten used to defying gravity as hard as I possibly can. So all we have to do is get this thing to tumble. Why did it why why does it do these things to me? Okay, so test sags a bit. Test sags a lot more. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it worked better when it was up. Build, connect these, test. So pretty bad on the sagging. All right, fine. Fine, we'll do it your way. Stupid hanging physics bull bullshit. I guess technically what I could have just done was just corded this garbage up. Okay. So let's... I'm going to make this a little bit less. That a bit more. Effectively, we want this thing to... Hmm. That's a little bit less stable than I was hoping for. Stupid slidey bullshit. I guess part of it is I never actually secured it over here. I just kind of made it with the assumption that it would stick together, but... That's... Probably better? Huh. Guess that doesn't work. Okay, that... that works. Doesn't look... doesn't look great. It doesn't need to. Hmm. That is a very resistant companion cube. Let's just try... let's just try this. Well, it's got a little bit more speed to it. Let's see, can I hook you in? New. No. There we go. It still sags pretty bad. Because we don't have any hard points up there. I could... Oh, I wonder if I could do something really stupid with that. Probably. Okay. So... All it needed to do is press this once. Like, all this companion needs to do is just kiss this button, which it does, and then the last thing that we have to do is just build this. That's a cord. Thank you. Uh, can I... 
No, I can't do that. Right? I guess I don't need to, so what what does it matter? Okay, hook these together. Hook this together. And Okay, so if I move this here, this laser is not active. Oh, goody. I just realized we've got a we've got a hard undo, damn it. Okay. Drive. Now this isn't going to work. Uh, this is mostly just to see if it's stable. It is. So next up, we probably want to shift that up. Hook this here. Okay, that worked. Door's open, so... Yeah. I think this level's only failing was not putting a an important button down on the bottom side. But, uh... Well, you know... <laughs> Look at all these mechanics that I'm ignoring. This bounce pad, pretty much this portal, whatever this is, these... This? I, I'm assuming I'm supposed to bounce... Oh, well, something happened over here. I guess somebody had a bit of an unfortunate tumble. <laughs> but who cares? <laughs> Didn't stop me. Yeah, I don't even have to care if they hit each other. Yeah, it worked, worked great. That was very expensive, surprisingly, but it, it still worked. Oh, boy. Bouncy cubes. Okay, so we have to get from here to here. Huh. I gotta press this button and this button. And this button. Huh. Well, that's not great. Okay. How do I destroy this? First order of business, that one. Probably. We want to start sending this this way, but that's not nearly steep enough. Okay, test that. Okay, so that's golden. Hmm. Yeah, the main problem is getting Uh, oh, okay. So this button drops. That's all it does. That should be fine. Uh... Can I do this? Yeah, so far it's not stopping me. And it's connected. It's bad, but it's connected. Okay. So one, two. Test. Yeah, I figured, figured that'd start falling. But that's fine. We we're pretty much expecting that I had I'd have to build one of my stupid feet to keep this nightmare together. I technically I could have actually done a couple other things, but this is fine. Uh you know, move that up a bit more. We 
we don't have to worry about this. I'll have to move this over. That connects. Does this not? Nah, it doesn't. Shaky. But luckily... My forklifts will be coming through this area. So I can use that for extra extra support as we go through. Let me see. So I'll work on this in a bit. I should probably just hold it up right now. Test. Yeah, problem is it pulls apart. But that's fine. I guess we don't need this so substantially here. Okay, and that actually works better that way. And then they just kind of continue on. Do we have a hard point? Yeah, we have we have this hard point here. Test. Oops. Didn't actually connect this here. Should I? Yeah, I should probably connect this whole thing. It's kind of going to be ripping itself apart at the middle. Okay. It, like some kind of weird fucked up upside down swallow business. It works. Okay, so that's that's good there. The main problem is getting these other two cubes to actually get in position in any, any kind of reasonable sense. I need a second cube on the left. No, I need a cube here and I need a cube here. Problem is, they're stupid. <sighs> Which means I'm probably going to want to just... Well, I'm going to have to build a pathway. Alright. So we are going to build a road. Bouncing is for losers. I actually have noticed as uh, over the course of this series, I have been particularly uh, avoidant to bounce gel. Even though I think the bounce gel is my favorite gel from um, from Portal Two, I think I just find it too unreliable most of the time. So what I'm gonna do is just put in some jumps here. And figure it out past that point. Okay, can I just... Test. So it works. Gonna delete a little bit of that. I mean, that crumbles for obvious reasons. Well, here's the thing. We're not using the bounce gel. We're just going to leave some holes. Yeah, I, I know I need to have holes for this. But that's all part of the plan. Okay, let's kind of re redo this. Because it looks, it looks bad and I feel bad. So here's the thing. I believe I can just have, let's do a test. I know it's gonna break. There we go. Okay, so that works. I've gotta go back to, to reinforcing this so it doesn't, it's not just pure garbage.
but that's not that big of big of a deal. In fact, technically, if I feel like being really lazy, I can actually just suspend most of this up until we get over to this section. And can put bridge materials back down. Alright. I'm going to delete that. Yeah, it's stable. Now the, these here, kind of problem. Not a big one. Just kind of problem. Because here's the thing. All I have to do is we're going to get rid of... I mean, honestly, we're going to get rid of most of this and replace it with proper durable solutions. Because I am going to just kind of make a chute that connects them all down together. And then all I have to do is just make sure that they drop just slightly differently from each other. And then no problem. Okay. And then out of laziness, I'm just going to kind of hook some of these together. Okay, so it, it's a little cranky right here. Oh, well, not a big surprise. Over a bit. Can I move this one here? Okay, there we go. Test. Test. Okay. So it wiggles a little bit. And then that one drops. So next up... Get rid of that. Immediate problem is it's not sliding enough. Which means I'm just going to delete this. This is actually fine. Which means... Um, I'm just going to keep that there. Is that really? Wow. Okay. Connect these. Keep this kind of internally stable. Because I think I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to put cars through here-ish. Okay. So if I do this, it gives me a small companion cube shaped hole to drop through. And that should be perfect. Test. Okay, so the first one slides. Wiggle jiggles. Slides. So this needs to be much more drastic. But that's fine. I've got, I've definitely got room for it. Okay, so it turns out this actually is where the empty spot needs to be. Move this down. Move these here. Okay, test. Now obviously we have to make this drivable, which is going to be inherently another problem entirely. But that's okay. Alright, so we've got that. Last thing is you need to drop down. Test. <laughs> I 
Because, yeah, that just bounces across the bottom, slides into place. Are these drop? Does that... Does that one... Okay, so that makes it. This doesn't, which means just move it over a bit. I could have measured this. I actually really wish there was a really good blueprint uh, grid for this. Because, like, a really good blueprint grid would have made it so much easier. The, oh. It's because this one's a little bit over to the right. So this one slowly goes in and this one shoots off. So maybe I want to move this down a bit too. 